Well, hello. I need to have a selfie camera that goes further away from my face. I always feel like I'm way blown up in it. Anyway, <laughs> I should just be looking at the camera instead of looking at myself in my selfie camera. But anyway, hi there. How you doing? Lori here on Vancouver Island. And once again, I'm in the garden. <laughs> Today, everybody got a good feed. Uh, some of them more nitrogen heavy feed, some of them more whatever pea is. I don't know. I have to do more research into um, what the different fertilizers do. I know that the nitrogen promotes green growth. So, if something um, like onions like nitrogen and tomatoes when they're young like nitrogen and and uh, lots of stuff, your herbs and your lettuces and celery and those kind of leafy things all like lots of nitrogen. So uh, anyway, at least that's the way I see it. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. And then the second number promotes fruit growth, I believe. And so once your tomatoes start and your peppers and stuff start fruiting, you want to lay off the nitrogen and hit them with something that's higher in that in that center number. And so that's all I've learned so far about fertilizer. Uh, what else happened today? Oh, yes, I got hit with aphids today. Oh, my gosh, my calendula was just covered in them. One of them I pulled out and just two of them, actually, in the one corner. I just pulled them out and tossed them in the fire pit. They were awful covered. I didn't even want to touch them. <laughs> the one in the other corner was kind of covered. Not too bad. Um, I, and I went in and sprayed them all off and then I gave everything in the garden again a good spray of neem oil with peppermint oil and a little bit of soap to help everything stick. And so I'm hoping that by tomorrow, I don't have that problem anymore. So we'll see. They say once the aphids hit, it could be bad. And that's the only place I saw them. And I did a pretty close inspection after I saw those little buggers. And show you <laughs> these beans. Look at that's how many I picked already. But I pulled this back and I thought, oh my gosh, you guys have got to see this. Can you see all those? Like they're huge too, right? And there's still a bunch on there that aren't quite big enough that I can harvest another day. So yay, I'm loving these guys. Oop, and what are you? I don't know. I don't like bugs. Okay, so, <laughs> that's how I tell myself it's time to start and clip for editing. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, so look at my beautiful apple tree. It is just doing spectacular. I don't know anything about it yet. I haven't done any research <laughs> other than how to figure out how to get it to sprout. So, but I can see that it has outgrown its record pot. So I'm going to move it into a bigger pot. Okay, so this is my sterilized dirt. I sterilized it by cooking it in the oven. <laughs> Which sounded really weird to me, but the first time I brought in some of that dirt from outside um, to use it to plant with, and it was bagged soil, but still, it had bugs, and I had bugs in the house. It was awful. So somebody said you could, um, you could sterilize it by baking it for a while, so... This is some vermiculite. Apparently it helps with um, drainage. Let's <laughs> show you my beautiful pot that I made. So that is one of the pots I poured paint on. And it's just a... Oh, <laughs> oh Lori, you're such a klutz. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll clean that up later. But anyway, look, that's one of the pots that I poured paint on. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. Anyway, that's what I'm going to plant my, I'm going to transfer my apple tree from the record pot to the other board pot. So, and then I'll come back off camera and clean up the nice mess I made on my stove because I'm gardening in the kitchen again. <laughs> I'm making an awful mess. Because that's what I do. <laughs> Alright, well, that's going to have to do for dirt. I can wash that too. I wish I had a bigger sink. My new kitchen's going to have a big farmhouse sink. Big and deep. And <laughs> I know, dream big. I don't know where the money's going to come from, but I will keep dreaming. <laughs> so, I'm going to water this in. And I wish I did have a little more dirt here. But it is what it is. I'm not, I do have some more dirt outside in a bag, but I'm not bringing it in because it's not sterilized. Anyway, that looks happier already. So the bowl that I had the apple tree in um, stood it just fine. So you can see when I washed it, some of the label wore off in the, on the inside, but that is not a big deal because if I was actually going to give this away or sell it, it would have been um, painted on the inside anyway. And for my uses, I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, it stood the test of time. I'm liking that. So I had to come out and show you my beautiful, beautiful lilies now that they are all budding. Look at how beautiful they are. And they smell so fabulous. <laughs> That's why the gnome garden is going here. Because I want to be able to come out here and just sit and take in the scent here. <laughs> and here is the lopsided flower garden that I was talking about. Oh, and we've got our first little flower on here. We've got a bunch of buds. This thing is just going to be covered in a day or two. It was covered in uh, earwigs last week. So I diatomaceous the heck out of it. You can still see it's caught it on the, some of it on the leaves. But that's going to be beautiful soon. And then again, I have one lily out here right in the middle. And see, this over here is supposed to match this over here. But this is supposed to be all gladiolas. So you can see most of my glads didn't come up. So I don't know what I'm going to do here because it's it looks totally lopsided to me. Well, I guess the tree kind of makes up for it, but still. It's, uh, it's something anyway. <laughs> Look, I have these little beans. These are the purple ones. They're not actually, well, they do have some purple on them, I guess, a purple stripe anyway. But yeah, so I have beans again. And this one over here is starting to get some little beans too. So I haven't watered it in quite a while. I've been letting it dry up and that appears to be helping. So yeah, still have a bunch of flowers that just fell off. And apparently this is more of a dried bean than a one that you eat fresh, although you can eat them fresh if you if you cut them on the diagonal, apparently. Otherwise they don't taste too good and they have to be cooked for a long time. So, I don't know, I really bought this for the flowers and for the climbing plant in the corner. Oh, look at that little guy there. I think it's a spider. Yeah, sure as heck, that's some kind of spider. I don't know, apparently it won't focus. But anyway, yeah, we'll leave him there. 
<laughs> we like spiders suddenly, as long as they're not in the house. We're good to go. <laughs> Wanna be difficult? <laughs> I can point it at the weather. <laughs> point it at the weather? What, sure. is the weather gonna start talking? I might. <sighs> oh, that ain't dead enough, so you're gonna move it over there so you kill that? Yeah. Isn't that lovely? I think actually when we're not using it, we should store it over by the barbecue. After you already killed the lawn? Well, I just decided <laughs> that. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Well, after... <laughs> after I've killed the lawn. If, if I'm not using Dave, we're going to store him over there. <laughs> even though he's dead. I'm not going to keep you and your dad. I'm going to take a road trip and drive you to Texas. Texas? Isn't that where you want to go? I want to go to the Gulf. Well, isn't that Texas? Well, you got to go out in the Gulf. That is water. Well, yeah, I know that. But don't you want to go out off the coast of Texas? I don't care. You don't care? Mm -mm. So what are the other options? Florida? I've been Gulf. all the way. I've been from Florida to Mexico. All right. To Central America in the Gulf. Okay. So anywhere in the Gulf. Anywhere in the Gulf. You can go. You can take a trip to Central America. Maybe I'll take a cruise. I don't care. I'll dump you off the side. What? I don't think they'll. They let don't you. let you do that though. <laughs> well, they might. They might. They no, might they don't on cruise boats anymore. Oh, they don't. No. No. Well, guess you won't have to be able to do it then. You could do it without them knowing it. Uh, I doubt it. But yeah. Not many places where they wouldn't notice a bunch of ash falling over the side of the <laughs> boat. You don't have to do it during the day. Well, that's true, I guess. <laughs> what? I'd have to be on the very bottom balcony level. Otherwise, the ashes could end up in somebody else's balcony. The wind catches them or something? Well... Uh, oh yeah, they saw you. <laughs> Didn't you see him? He was waving back. I saw! I know. <laughs> he almost fell out. Wait. <laughs> he needs to be careful. <laughs> My wife stands out in the backyard and waves at the airplane. <laughs> Got her 30,000 feet in the air. That one wasn't that high. Oh, that one wasn't, no. But it was. And he probably had binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> Most likely looking for you. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I know Lori's out there in that backyard somewhere. I'll see her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's hanging out there again, yeah, looking at them yeah. damn plants. <laughs> she's with her plants, waving at the airplane. <laughs> talking to the minions and, or no. <laughs> talking to the minions, talking to the to gnomes. The, the gnomes. The gnomes and the teddy bears. The gnome and the teddy bear and whatever else that lives <laughs> out here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks so much for popping in to hang out with me. I do appreciate it all the time you spend. Um, take care of yourself. Bye now. <laughs>